All right, hello, welcome. Today I'll be playing another custom map. Uh, we actually wanted to play this one yesterday, but there was a bug in Augustus that caused all the cities from the city construction kit, which means all the .map files to be bugged out and not working, which has been fixed. Yes, all super cheese. Uh, yeah, so this map, it's called Leptis Magna. It has been created by Lizaran, which is a person from the Augustus team. And also made a couple of maps. Apparently, uh, this one is uh, like most of his maps are used to resemble real life locations. Yes. Uh, two native trading huts, and there is a third one. Uh, so, I expect money to be kinda easy to acquire, but uh, trading. We are here at Loctis Magna and Tam guide you would buy pottery or weapons. Uh, there are no rocks really close to the caravan route, I don't think. Has one vault. Welcome. Or there is Cartago, um, which is a sea trade route. You would buy marble. I think we should maybe focus on marble and sell it to the natives. Because we could do it uh, fairly quick. Labor efficiency would be the best death way, I think. And we could just, uh, like, make our economy work that way. Because the caravans themselves uh, probably won't be able to buy that much. There is, like, a rock here. And the cliffs cannot be mined, of course, so it needs to be rocks. And there is, like, a rock or formation here, but you would block off your area if you build there too much. So I think that we should probably just use the natives, since they are here we can easily set up an industry and then cart the goods over here, especially if we use the new uh, highways, which we should use the new highways, because I haven't uh, used them yet. So yeah, uh, that's gonna be it. We have access to wheat, I think. Yes, so double the food from the wheat and we can have some fishing as well. There are some fishing spots, it's gonna be pretty good. Not sure about this river, this is a fishing spot, I think. So some of it might be over here. Yeah, there is some fertile land here as well. Overall, I think food is not gonna be an issue. I would prefer to not expand to this other bank if I don't have to, unnecessarily. Because defending that point as well is gonna be a little bit tedious. Because I'm pretty sure the attacks are gonna also come from here. Okay, so that's a, that about sums it up. I think we do have access to military academy. We do have all the other things. I don't think anything is disabled, really. Yeah, we can build whatever we want. Okay, uh, let's start planning our first block. Needs to be somewhere fairly close by the food source, so I'd say we build our first block here. This is basically flat terrain, I think, as well. Just remove some of the shrubbery and we should be fine to use it. What about our raw resources? We have clay, marble, iron and timber, so basically monument construction galore. Uh, okay. Let's build our first block. Of course, we are in a desert, which means we'll have to double down on prefects, otherwise we'll be in trouble. need double the prefect <laughs> post fact, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Cannot forget the post facts, otherwise you would get shrecked. Uh, okay, let's wrap it up. Also gonna add extra housing, but it's gonna be on the other side of this block, because the front side is gonna be used for food industry, of course. Uh, that was pretty bad, let's just remove that. Let's 
make the prefects on the sides like this. I think that usually works very well. Or very well. It does its job. In the desert, otherwise I would use it here, but I uh, cannot have it. Barber is in a society, otherwise people will die. <laughs> they don't have barbers. Uh, small temples. And that's it for the initial setup. So let people move in. Uh, our entry point is here. So fairly close. Also our salary, I need to check that. 12 denarii, 8. And I think the first request we are gonna get... I remember Baron playing this map before. I remember a little bit of it. Of course, I didn't watch it all because... Uh, I was doing something else at that point. But I, re I remember the very first request it hits is for like several hundred oil or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, I have an indication we are not gonna be filling that request. Which means favor might be a little bit of a concern, but I'm, there's no way in hell I'm giving him that much oil. Uh, no matter the story or whatever. Okay, we have some unemployment, not a lot of it. So, as I said, we should probably use marble, at least initially. So, could we fit... Yeah, I'm just gonna have to pacify both of these guys and then have a marble warehouse. You can probably start with this native. So let's take a look at native risk. We can pacify him from four tiles away. Which I think we will do it like this. And he can follow that road, that's fine. So let the game run for a little bit. I keep placing houses when possible. Looks like they don't want to merge, it's fine. Now what about the natives? Did he really not pacify that one? <clears throat> That's very odd. Well have to do it like that then. that now oh yeah I see why these natives are uh, had a problem it's just uh, they are so packed together that I completely missed a couple so it's four tiles from there which means this one is fine this one is not fine but this one is a problem I really don't want to do another one of these well, I can just make a new one and pacify everyone from this side instead. It's 
gonna be a little bit costly, but <clears throat> that's fine. So it's gonna come out like this. And that should cover all of them, probably. Let's see what happens. Now you want to test out new highway. Okay, I think I might have a problem. <laughs> this is not how the highway is supposed to look like. Uh, I'm gonna have to save the game. I know what fixes it. Yeah. I did download assets yesterday, but apparently uh, the new fix or something might have amended it. It's gonna be a second. Oh, I need to shut up the game though, otherwise it's gonna break. There we go. There are new desert highway assets, yeah, that's it. That's totally it. Caesar is angry, but he does give us a bailout. Accept marble. I'm not scared to go into that here. I think we should even recover it pretty quick if it happens. Now, uh, where do we want to source our water from? I think here. It's gonna be a best place. It's not nice to have to invest into that right away, but I'm kind of worried about the health. I don't want a fumigation. So we probably should do it, even though the labor is already not great. Could we make more things? Who buys the marble? I think it's Cartago. Yeah. It's ships. Oh, well, let's just make more marble then. Pretty sure we can. Plan the water system. I think we have plaza. We do. So we can even hug the reservoir fairly close. Caesar is gonna be mad for a long time and there is very little we can do about that so I hope he's ready for all the stress he's gonna endure so the initial mana isn't 
insanely high, so we'll use that as a resource. Let's get them about house already. Yeah, and you can see the noticeable difference with the marble. Uh, where is the trade route? Cartago, open up. We'll be selling the marble. Hey, Fairbuy. Gonna do some late night highway testing. Yeah. Uh, I guess you read the discussion. <laughs> As I said, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Well, you know, I should give them a chance. I really should. So what's the native pacification man doing? Let's monitor her progress. Pretty sure he can. I'm sick and staying home from work. Okay. That's promising. Because you know what that means. That means total war. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, no, of course. <laughs> yeah, I read through the discussion. Now I hope you will be feeling better soon. If it's really bad, you probably won't be able to do anything anyway. Like play anything, I mean. So the native is buying some marbles. No, I had high hopes for this guy. Yeah, he's gonna do it. How... How are they all pacified? That's insane. Is, did they change it? Unemployment is high, yeah, I know. I'm just curious because this is not what's supposed to happen. So if you pacify the ne native meeting hut, doesn't pacify a bunch of natives in the surrounding area because this is not how it worked before. Been laying in so far all week basically. That sucks. At least your cat is there to comfort you. Hmm. Okay. Unemployment. He'll need to solve it. How do we solve it? Yeah, this is not how it worked last time for me either, and I didn't read anything like changes, so I don't know. Seems weird. But anyways, I think we will just make more marble here. I'm a little bit worried about the singular prefect keeping this place from absolutely exploding. Shouldn't be a big deal though. No, that's not how that road is supposed to look like. It's like this. Yeah, let's add another prefecture on this side. Make post fact. Yeah. It's gonna help out. So yeah, sell the natives, all the marbles. Then we'll have to start farming, I think. For the labor, but money is a problem. I cannot keep building. I need to recover briefly at least. Because Caesar will request an insane amount of oil, I think. I'll let you know about Total War. What does the schedule look like? Uh, today is. what? Yeah, so Thursday is tomorrow. I have free time whole Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm at work for 12 hours from morning to the evening. But then I basically will have a bunch of free time because I had a bunch of vacation days that I haven't taken throughout the year. And since I'm ending the job, I need to take them. Otherwise, they would have to pay me for it. And they, of course, don't want to do that. So I have to take it. So I'll have like two weeks of free time. So I'm going to be going to work at like 24th. After that, so the only day I'm having something else is Friday. If that's comprehensible for you. Let's go 
could even sell more marble to them. Don't mind if I do. Did the native pacification stay? It did. Almost out of debt, come on. <laughs> Do it. Sell them all the marbles. Yeah, there we go. And it's December, perfect time to recover. I'll be busy during lunch on Saturday. We'll try to have time and energy for some total war later that day. Okay, so I'll be keeping keeping that in mind for Saturday then. I'd like to finish the current campaign so we can eventually get into the versus. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I never played that and I think you haven't either, so it's bound to be good, I think. Yeah, let's spend the money on plaza. <laughs> make them large tents, and we'll have to make some farms. But first, still keep making money. Now, I think we maybe even want more quarries. It seems a little excessive, but... Yeah, I don't know. Is that a rock? No. Pah, that was a pah. <laughs> Not really, no. I started it once by mistake with a friend who assumed <coughs> uh, we would be neutral factions, but it forces you to always uh, be at war. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. But I mean, it's interesting. Even the co-op is actually pretty good. I like it more than the regular campaign in single player for sure. But it is different. And this one, this is gonna be like totally different because you often do rely on AI being AI and doing AI things and getting crushed. Uh, not anymore. <laughs> you won't be able to pull off any uh, cheesy tricks anymore. Well, yes, uh, I think at some point you need to abandon the crutches of relying on the AI being AI, <laughs> doing AI things. So, how are you doing on Marble? Looks like I actually overinvested into it. What about our labor cap? No, it's fine should be able to feed some people from that, which will result in more labor. Probably won't be able to slot down a whole bunch of farms, but we don't really need a whole bunch right away. I think I've built it slightly too close but it shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, that's just hideous though. Hmm. Yeah, there is no way for me to squeeze in two, I don't think. That is it's not gonna be nice. Okay. Yeah, let's just loop it around like that. Two markets. Preemptively make a school and a theater. Make it a small castle. And a forum. And a forum. 
so what are the money? It seems like they are still buying up all the marble. Maybe we need a couple more income cycles from the quarries, but... This might be slightly too insane. As far as the money goes. <clears throat> Okay, I need to make sure if these farms placed efficiently, which means like this. Natives demand their miracles, yeah, clearly. Just to laugh, yeah. <laughs> Until they they enclose you in a marble sarcophagus. I mean, clearly couldn't have made it themselves from all these mountains that are surrounding them. Why they need industrious Romans to come around and surely without any shady uh, nefarious intentions sell them their own things. No, not the warehouse. Moracles. Start making Moracles. It would be cool to see the natives have their little warehouses and a bunch of buildings like that to actually have a functional settlement and they would like expand and whatever. And if you sell them like weapons, it could increase their like combat potential. Maybe recruit them as auxiliaries. Or mismanage them and let them tear down your city. <laughs> That's cheesy. Ah, I wanted that far. <laughs> okay. Cannot have it. Mm, nor can we really have this one. I mean, I could, and then create a connection from the outside there if we really wanted uh, that later. I think we will roadblock this, make their own things. I got an idea, would a monument for boosting natives in some way would be worthwhile? Or would it uh, suit a Grand Temple Epiphet? Uh, yeah, it would be nice, I think, for a Grand Temple if we have like native pacification epithet that would have it so... For example, your prefects pacify natives or boost the range by one on all mission posts and reduce their labor necessity by quarter to 15 or something like that. You could squeeze in one more left to the river. Here? Yeah, yeah, we can expand it there, of course. You can put a bunch and then on the other side as well. This is a rock or is it a tree? It's a rock. So if I want it, I cannot have that one, because it would block everything in. But we could have two and three, like this. I mismanaged this. Let's just put it like that. It should still be fine. The, this, uh, the length of the road might not be fine though. I think we want another granary. It was not such poorly placed. That would be nice. I have it like this. Because we'll be getting from this place a lot, I think. I was thinking that they could trade more, pay more for bears, maybe give you some food in exchange for trading with them, turn them into Red pants that help you defend during the invasions. Yeah, red pants would be nice. But, I mean, my economy is solely rel relying on the natives at this point, and we are selling to two huts and not at peak efficiency. And I've gotten 6,400 this year, and it is August. I think it's already insane for most maps, having them be even better at trading. The food thing might be good.
Especially when you have like multiple. If there is one, it's kind of fine. It's like a boost or a backup if the trade problems are prevalent. But yeah, I mean, it already can be quite broken. Now, what about the school children? Are they all going one way? I think they are just all going one way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not very good. Let's place a new school then. Uh, do we have? Maybe I haven't enabled the thing. Because I was uh, clean reinstalling the game a while back. Yeah, yeah, I could go with library. I just prefer to have the schools since the walkers should be fixed. We'll see if that covers it, otherwise we'll have to do a library. Now, uh, the thing we need to do is military. Gonna replace the temple to cities. Let's get a supply post. Now, where do we want our forts? It should be somewhere close to this place as well. I guess. No, I kinda like them here, I think. Let's get a military academy and a barracks. Place our first fort. Obvious in a choice. Yes, pa. And be sending him a gift. Probably in a while. Yeah, <laughs> Caesar didn't like me building that fort. It's fine. Now we did build some oracles. Should make it safe. Just the gods. I'll be adding some pottery here. Once we get some more money and people in the city. What's the housing advisor say? Yeah, I can fit more people. They are just unhappy. They are annoyed. So we are taxing them. So let's increase uh, the wages. They should be happier, right? Everyone gets food. They just really dislike the taxes. Was it changed recently? But the 8% is more vile than 7%, clearly. Hmm. Can't say I like that much. Theft. It's gonna be fine. Need to make them insulate. To insulate them against public disorder. This is a good fishing fishing ground though. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just gonna do two clay pits here. So like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't always do puns, but when I do, they are 100% uh, as cringy as your puns. <laughs> Uh, let's bring it here. I was about to fall asleep earlier, but some neighbor decided that 22 o'clock on a Wednesday was the perfect time for a party. <laughs> the bigger the groan, the better the pun. Yeah. Get me awake, you know, I can sleep. Even though they fly. That sucks. Especially when you are sick. So to hear that. Maybe have a drink. Something like that. But I'm sure my brain dead designs are gonna put you to sleep very soon. 
gonna have to hold on for a moment. It's gonna be playing slower today apparently. Just somehow feels sluggish. Hmm. I mean, there is probably a gladiator uprising on this map, <laughs> but let's just build it. Hey, Frankie Vesna. Good old student life celebrating the week so you can visit home at weekends. Totally normal, yeah. Lower price on furniture, that does not concern us. A rare in this apartment complex. You are living in a hub block. <laughs> Freaking 40, 40k stuff. You are light years ahead of us. Okay. What's next? I think just making another block next door, even though the population growth is concerning. I think I'm gonna start making some things for overseas export actually. So what would Cartago buy? 15 marble or we could sell weapons and furniture. Marble, weapons, furniture. Gonna accept weapons and propose some marble as well. I'm gonna need something like this. It's gonna accept the furniture. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to just make the road like this. So I want a couple of iron mines and a couple of quarries for this. I mean, is it nice? God, no. But it will work. <clears throat> Make sure we keep space for further expansion. I'm one of those boring people who never understood the fun of such parties. I always rather went home about pizza and watched a movie. <laughs> I mean, when I was younger, I liked to go out more. But as it is right now, I've really stopped doing it for the most part. I haven't been out in a while. At least not like this. And I just... Def uh, I wouldn't like to annoy people by doing something like that in the evening. But, you know, for some people it's not even like a consideration, so it's just some things would not even occur to you if you are a lot younger. <laughs> so, I guess it's fine. 100 oil, yeah, that's not happening. That's the request I was talking about. Export, X... Oh, I... Why am I making weapons? I'm so bad. Uh... What's the other thing? Furniture. Okay. Let's open it up. 
Oh, these guys would buy weapons. That's right, okay. Clearly I never have lived in a dormitory. I followed the music and asked if they had beer instead of sitting home and stayed annoyed at them. When <laughs> you have to embrace it. So I've always been... <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's fine. For some people it's a stage in life, for some people it never ends, and for some people it never arrives. <laughs> so, it's just, you know, the way of life. Okay. I deliberately looked for apartments where I could live alone. <laughs> Grumpy old man. Fair buy. <laughs> it's intriguing. I could fit a thing here. But it would be messy. I don't like messy things. Well, it's just not. Could have it here if I really wanted it. a kitchen and a toilet with such people I couldn't stand it. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's horrible dormitories and such. I couldn't be really I cannot imagine the living there anymore but that's like for some people it's the standard of living. But I'm not one of those people. I also would not like it. Let's make some more REI. Everyone's favorite one by one building. Mm, I should probably save space for a bridge here. So we have a bunch of insulate that should give us some tax revenue. Blood kitchen per floor is horrible. I could lock it. I had five rooms apartments. It sounds better. What I call local uprising. Mm. There's an invasion point right here. It's actually pretty bad for me. At least our army is here. Could have been much worse. <laughs> yeah. The shots. At least it was like two guys and Bob. So it wasn't really a threat. Yeah, it was like three people. <laughs> But the fact that the invasion point is right here is not good because that's my industry. So peace can go down the shitter quite quickly. Oh, it's fine. Time for which tower spam? Probably. It's not a bad idea. Now, what I really want to do is pacify this guy just to boost our income even more. Yeah, let him have an access. I also really want more marble here, I think. For now it works. So people still want jobs, apparently. Okay, what else do we do? Yeah, just make marble, I guess. Have tried making a map with only native trade and taxes as income. 
Uh, I've done a map that only had taxes as income and no trade at all. And I think I have a map with natives as only trade uh, source of revenue. But taxes are instrumental. I think mm, like taxes are themselves pretty OP. Love <laughs> this marble. Uh, it's a lot of marble <laughs> for this early in the game. It's fine. I'm sure it's just fine. Let's just clear this. Only import map. Well, yeah, there are a bunch of them. That's not uh, too original. Also, no trade. I've done one on Steam as well. The, I, did, I did my map with no trading. It wasn't difficult. Uh, right, what's next? I would kind of like to add just more furniture. Might actually be in a good place to f start building freaking monuments. Uh, I just need clay and uh, timber. We need like two for starters. Get some better houses. How far do we want them? I kind of should use the highways, so let's just build them here. I need to constantly remember, oh yeah, use highways. Use highways, because that's what you are here to do. Uh, suffice to say, it's not easy for me to always remember them, because it's counterintuitive for me. Uh, yeah, the corner place. Let's create a connection. I think I messed up already. Well, yeah, you don't want this because you need to have a space. At least money is not a problem, but you need to have a road. Yeah, a road like that and then connect it up to this place. It's pretty hideous, but it's gonna work. So this is going to accept timber. It's gonna accept clay. Grand Temple Venus. No, let's do Mars first. I want to be I want to be safe. I want to build him right here. Increase trading of furniture overseas. Yeah, I'm glad that we expanded that then. Could actually add more. Probably quite far, but doesn't really matter. Weapons. Lighthouse would be handy. Yes. We will build one. Just need to figure out a perfect spot far away from sea. <laughs> so, so we can use it uh, to buff, buff the things. Does the caravansara affect native traders? Uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe the prices do, but the capacity does not. Let's build it here. The lighthouse on the very tip of the landmass in the northeast. 
Oh, good, you know. No. The looks are nothing. The looks are heresy. The looks, the constant worry about aesthetics is what's causing most people to be so incompetent at this game. You need to throw away the bounds of aesthetics. No. There is an invasion point here. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. Just build it inland, like this. So it could never guide any ships. How it's supposed to be. It's preposterous. Embrace function, yeah. Just embrace brutalism, architecture, and Caesar. <laughs> to the east. It will be even safer there. Oh, we here? <laughs> In this pond? Yeah. That is fertile land, though. I, I plan to exploit it. I don't want to expand to this other bank. Just as a, like, uh, from map design's perspective, if there are scheduled invasions here, it's not gonna bother me because I'm never gonna have to worry. <laughs> this is vast. I'm so bad at life. Yeah, east. Tip. Right here. You could have it here. But no, why would you? <laughs> That's such a logistical nightmare. <laughs> no. Aesthetics can be, can I see it? What is it? <laughs> no. I mean, some of the stuff is pretty good. The blocks aren't terrible, I don't hate them. But the roads everywhere else are just, I mean... No. Hmm. No. <laughs> Brutalism architecture is the way to go. This would take you too much time. Highways there, yeah. Too much plaza, yeah. It's just my... I think my reviews of the cities uh, gave you all the information you ever needed there. I was covering some of that. Okay, people. I kind of forgot. So let's just build up another massive block in here. Or massive, it's just gonna be standardized block. I mean, the thing I don't like is spending like half an hour going through the menus and building like things one by one, you know? I don't, I'm not a biggest fan of that, like the most efficient way is just build the goddess statues, because you can spam them like nobody's business. So just two seconds and it's done. The thing that somebody would spend like half an hour on for one area. You need maps where you can't build these blocks. Well, that's why my maps usually don't allow building such blocks. Because otherwise, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Nine to two. I mean, you can look at Barnabas Tarsum. It's one of my maps I played fairly recently, like a month ago, something like that. And that one is pretty brutal in terms of rocks and everything. It's not extremely military focused, but it's still tough. And it's a desert map with very tough start. Currently Fairby is playing it, I think. I haven't seen a completed sit yet, speaking of that, but it's pretty good. Go with some middle ground, like the marble pillar, since it's easy to switch to colors. And then I place random statues, spawns, and bullets everywhere where they will fit. I don't spend more than a minute at it. Yeah, I mean, for me it takes ages, because I'm not used to using it. So I'm just always gonna be fiddling around with the screens. And then, in the end, it doesn't even look too good for me. <laughs> so it's just... I don't know, I just like to... Uh, use differently. Just don't focus on aesthetics. Go at functionality. Oh, actually, the prefect goes there. Try placing obelisks in the middle of this one. Fill out the rest of the statue spam. 
Yeah, I mean, we could do that. We have the money, so it wouldn't be a terrible idea. So have, like, parks or whatever. Yeah. Like this. I don't know if... It doesn't feel like it's that much better, personally. You can make beautiful maps. I do, but that's a different thing. I also am a strong opponent of geographical maps for the most part because many things that would make sense uh, geographically speaking wouldn't make sense gameplay wise or would just be useless or bad so i'd rather focus on functionality on the maps so it's never really resembling a real life location it's just very functionality forward I'm far away from finishing it, I haven't been able to play since I got sick, okay. Yeah, it's pretty intense, can't blame you. But, as I said, it's my favorite one from my creations, I think. Just because of the complexity of the map, and the fact that you have so many restrictions, even with the buildings. It's really cool. And also, you cannot build brain dead tanks like this. You really cannot. I like that the military isn't over the top. Yeah, it will be a late, late game, but for the most part the map is not about military challenges that much. It's just so that you invest into it, but it's not supposed to be overwhelming. We have other maps for that. It's the economic complexity and the logistics and terrain in general that's your main enemy there. Especially the start is uh, very tough to get going properly. But you did manage to get that, so I'm sure you can complete it. On the military, on the map, it should be a nuisance in planning, but it should, uh, shouldn't wreck you completely if you don't build more tower defense. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, more and more I play. Uh, some of these like more insane maps. This one doesn't feel insane, but I've played some maps that are pretty out there. Uh, the more I ascribe to that school of thought as well, I think. So I've become less of a military man myself over the like past two years, which might sound strange, but you know, um, I think that it should spur on economically. The military challenges, and even if it's actually regarding like military tough, tough maps, building a bunch of towers and watchtowers uh, on top of Mars Temple and a bunch of forts, that's still fine. You just need to know that you need it. If there is a sudden huge attack that you are no way gonna be prepared for, it doesn't help anyone. You are just dead, and then you have to rebuild everything, which is not good. But if you know and prepare for it. I mean, that's good, because uh, it will add additional economic challenge to be able to support those defenses. My guess problem currently is keeping Caesar pleased. Yeah, the, this favor is really tough. But it goes to show you what you can do with favor, like make it really a thing. Unlike in some maps where you can just ignore him completely. Caesar doesn't quite notice. <laughs> he keeps sending armies at me like... <laughs> It's fine, you can even like evade uh, invasions completely, but it all depends on the star. I think you didn't build the initial industry in the valley that's near a road from Rome, and that's the best place to have it, I think. Even though for imports it's gonna suck later for caravan ping-ponging, it's still pretty good to get everything sold as quickly as possible. Okay, let's pick up a couple of granaries here. Get a better house. Let's 
get some potter in here. I tried there at first, but struggled to get the marble I needed for some reason. I presume to... I prefer to build it by the vines. Went much smoother for you. Okay. I mean, the quotas should be filled regardless. I just like to have my money each year as soon as possible in like January, February, usually. But if you don't mind waiting for it for like two months, that's fine as well. You don't need to do it. It's just the way I did it by building near the, uh, very near the entrance. But yeah, as I said, I have high confidence, I think you will be able to beat it. Without many problems, once you are able to focus on it. Which, I would like to see the city later. Great to know. Let's get them some markets. Let's get. Cannot get an amphitheater in there. Can have it here. Connecting it wouldn't be good because of the market lady pathing, but so let's just let's just make it like this. Give them a theater and a school. And a forum. Nobody escapes taxes. Okay, there we go have some native problems. So our fort, where do we build it? I think we just build them up here. Honestly, it shouldn't be a big deal. What about our resources for the temple? Oh yeah, I need to connect this place up. I haven't done that. We will need to roadblock it though. This place doesn't actually need a connection. It will need it now. What does he want? Marble? Yeah, he can have marble. Cool. What else do we want? Oh yeah, worker camps. Do you see the link I sent to that series? Uh, no, not yet. I think I've looked at the first thing you posted, but I noticed a link today in the morning for the series. It's to a site, I think, where I could watch it. I think I'm gonna take a look at it at some point. Because as I said, I haven't watched any series in a while. I wasn't feeling like checking it out right away. Let's get a bathhouse. I googled it and found that it's available on Daily Motion. Okay. I'm I never actually used that site. <clears throat> it's small force in 24 months. I think we are fine sending it since this map didn't really show any horns in, in terms of military challenge. Just yet. Send three units. Now it would Mars. It's getting built. Why are they going all the way around? Oh, they are building a lighthouse. I see. Basically only for random things like you, uh, that YouTube doesn't keep up. Yeah. Makes sense. Some things you just cannot find, so that's fine. 
uh, we will have so much labor that I think we should uh, start building up patricians. I'm not sure how we will get vine and olives. Olives we can get locally and vine. Oh, Athena sells me vine. Yeah, I'm also gonna go with Venus Temple that produces vine, I think, on this map. Which is very rare for me, I don't usually do that at all. It's uh, obviously the worst epithet, but in this case it might be actually good. I mean, money is not gonna be a problem, but... Well, I mean, we might as well do it, right? Because I don't think desirability is gonna be a problem with all the plaza we have. Plaza is uh, very broken. Hmm. I want to buy the plaza now. There. <laughs> I'm not even mentioning that, but yes, that's the worst kind of plaza. There are degrees of heresy, and 2x2 plaza is definitely out there. It's like beyond redemption category in the Inquisition archives. It's, that is the man who made 2x2 uh, plaza sprite, and he is like frozen in carbonite. Okay, Patrician block, right? We can start with it. It's going to be kind of neat to have it here. Patricians, yeah. It's gonna be nice, maybe. We just need to figure out the length and size of this all. I think I would like a Grand Temple to Neptune first, so that's the problem. I like having the extra fountain range is so convenient on desert maps. It would uh, make it less of a pain to build this, especially uh, well later. We can even go for. Corner Patricians, I think. Hmm. What are the Grand Temples? Do we have enough marble to make more work camps? I don't think we do. That's gonna interfere with my construction. I, I'm gonna have to build up some Grand Temples here. But that's fine. Let's cut into that. Gonna make a uh, reservoir here. So I don't like how this one works. Just gonna remove that. Oh no, I made a mistake. Okay. So olives, right? Let's take a look. I think I'm gonna grow them here, if I can. It's like six workshops, that should be enough.
Let's go to accept oil. Now, I think we should try to fish some food. And then maybe try to get these people to be... Uh, I think we could make them get on the insulin maybe. And it's gonna be tough to get even a library in here. But we can probably do it. We could remove like Mercury Temple since that one is usually not used at all. Fish. It's gonna be for this block only. We'll see how many things we can catch them. the shipyard somewhere over here uh, actually move that let's get a wharf and then this will accept like eight fish it's not usually good to have mixing and matching food types, but this would work. Still don't have that much labor. Free, but it's okay. Temple is getting done. Temple there, yes, you can have it. I will actually have to expand that, so we might as well do it right now. And wheat, of all things, doesn't actually look too good. I will have to set up an accepting granary in here. Now you'll need a warehouse that's going to get them some furniture. I actually will source it locally, I think, so we don't uh, take up the furniture from the industry. I'm not sure how good the quality of those recordings are of the series. Tell you what, if you watch one of the episodes that are on the site and like it, I can do some magic and see if I can share the DVD version with you instead. Should be some magical way that creates good enough recordings. Okay. Sounds promising. If the quality is really shit, then that might be necessary. I'm gonna have to let you know. I don't know when I will feel like watching that. I will probably watch it with uh, my girlfriend when she has time. So, I don't know, maybe... I cannot get you, give you a day right now. But I'll let you know how it ends up. Two are enough for now. No, let's expand it immediately. We'll, we'll need it later anyway, 
so no point in saving up on these things. I should actually roadblock that off. Give these people their own things. Not shit really, just uh, not as good as it could be. There are a few different uploads of it. Some seem mirrored and others are slightly cut to avoid copyright. Okay. And I haven't watched a good historical series in a while and there are some points in terms of like historical inaccuracy. There are some movies who actually do it well and there are some who fail miserably. And it all comes down to several things. But overall, I think sometimes the people just don't realize that you actually don't need to even base it on a real person. The key thing is uh, just have the setting correct and make things resemble real life. Like for example, seeing someone cut through plate armor with a sword is really bad. <laughs> And it happens a lot, like even chainmail, you wouldn't be able to do that, but, you know, we have it, we have things like, even, even freaking Braveheart, things like that, it's just literally hilarious, if you do really know how things behave, like, it's utterly hilarious. Not to mention all the historical inaccuracies, like Braveheart actually has most of the things that they mention, which are totally false. Like Prima Noctis is false, uh, Siege of York is by Scots is false, the cause for war is false, the occupation of Scotland before the war is false, uh, the fact that William Wallace is a freaking poor farmer is false, <laughs> all of these things. So rather let's just make your own character from the era, but then have the other stuff be correct, <laughs> you know. I think that would be pretty good. So, uh, after I get furniture, they will want oil. Which I think we will give them oil through somewhere. I think I'm gonna actually relocate the supply post. Hey, Baron. Sure, but <laughs> then they would have to be original. Yeah. Just think of them as a Billy Walls. <laughs> The original thing is a big concern apparently, no, they just, uh, I mean they had that in mind from the start basically and just went with it, so it's a conscious design decision. Not laziness, the film, like, they put a lot of resources into it, but it was just mismanaged because they didn't focus on the real interesting and important parts and they just added a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I think this, uh, this one is fairly accurate in that aspect. As I said, it's mostly dialogue, little action, but the setting as a whole feels plausible, and the whole team of the series looks correct. Well, then I'm gonna probably like it. Doesn't need to be all action. Okay, uh, what do we do? Labor seems fine. Yeah, I need... A library for these people. I will actually replace this prefect, I think. Try to squeeze that in. I hope I'm not gonna cut it off. No, they should still have access. So the fish. I'm not even sure if the fish is enough. They do have it. Some of them do, at least. Maybe it's fine. It's gonna be tough to get more of that fish. Might actually be reserving it for the patricians. Vegetables. Can we import food? Mm, that's meat. Fruits, two shields. Yeah. I wonder if it's 
<laughs> sufficiently efficient. Yeah. All the fish. Hmm, the food just seems unstable. Yes, and evolution. Maybe it's just because of the. Yeah, they grabbed some resources, I think that's why. Move the ship right. Yeah, we could move it. There is a fishing point right here. We could also make fish here, I think. Which that would be pretty good. Let's do it. Mm, this is just like two. But I'm still gonna do it. There's one gore scene uh, that apparently was too much back in 1976. They kept editing it and edited it until nothing was shown at all anymore. And now the original scene is lost. That sucks. Okay, so let's just give them some time. I'm sure they will grab the food eventually. You could also get rid of the Mercury Temple, which is just bad to have anyway. Get another market in here. So we'll be doing some Mercury Temples. I think it's gonna be like five people. Yeah, six, seven. I mean, it should be fine, unless they beeline it for my city, which could happen. Got this for us. Can I bridge over down the south without loading invasion sun? There is room for more fishing. We'll take a look at it. I didn't consider that. Mm, I think it's not blocked in. So accessible. Probably if Lizaron knows his stuff, there would be a path through here. I don't need it, really. So you shouldn't probably do that. Just give it some time. Get them all the goods again now. Supplies of oil. Oil is right here. Probably gonna take them a little while to get it, but they should. Yep. Grand Temple. What do we want first? Neptune? Yeah. There's a tiny island in the south too, but maybe it's too small for fishing. This is accessible. I think it's not worth it. As I said, I don't think we necessarily need it, so if we can get by without it, we shouldn't even bother. Basically. Now, uh, Venus would be good to have just for a desirability still, since we are still kind of struggling on that front. But I think it's fine. Do 
You'll see now. What did I want? More entertainment, of course. Uh, arena. I would have to give them an arena. I could do it if I move the series temple. Which we are not gonna give them all the temples. Which one don't we, uh, we don't really need? The Venus one. Or does it? Does the epithet connect, uh, collected from all the all the priests of Venus? I actually don't know. I, I haven't used it in ages. You can let me know if you know. It would be useful. So I don't remember that one. Like at all. Actually, in the Augustus Discord and Epiphet update uh, channel, I post pictures of the current Epiphets at the very top of the channel if you want to look quickly. I think we will uh, just test it in a bit. Hmm. Struggling with goods now. We do have enough things, just some of the things are getting a little bit far. For them to get reliable, I think. It's also a bit of a problem. It's gonna solve itself. Pretty sure. Grand Temple to Venus would solve all of them up if they have any complaints. Mm, what about the Neptune Temple? It's getting built. Let's start working on the patricians. No, no, no. Wrong. I actually wanted to wait for the water to be done. Yeah, let's just do that. The natives are going all over the place now, but it doesn't really matter anymore, I don't think. Benefit from just making sure we can actually send that oil off, I think. Not the biggest fan of just uh, copious stockpiling like this. But since it's a thing and we have like 40 months left, we might as well do it just to get rid of that bother. So they are waiting for the liver anyway. Do 
that are only so much these guys can use. Replacing four one by ones to the single two by two status will probably solve your desirability problem. Yes, it might uh, commerce desirability. No, I need to see it in native overlay. I hope I didn't remove any fountains. Of course I did. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. I just cannot remove it reliably. Because there are fountains in here. I always forget. Natives. Just do it this way then. to say yeah. that would probably help a little bit but these guys are still complaining it's a fountain right no it's not uh no not that that might help it did this corner guy still grumpy Ferrari. Look, nice things. No? Okay. Nice things? Yes. So they're all Grand Insulai. That's good. Now the other block. I think we could do it if we really wanted to. It's gonna be a little bit tight in here. I could just replace these things further up and actually make them offset by one more tile, I think. I'm still not sure about the vine thing. I think we should maybe import it. We don't need like obscene amount of it anyway. And unless the price is gonna climb to like 700, it's not gonna crush my economy, I don't think. So let's do it. Local uprising. It's right here. I haven't really built the extra forts, have I? I don't think I did. It's two. Three and four. It's probably not gonna be massive, but if it was, that might have been a problem. Yeah, I mean, the military balance on this map is just totally off. The Grand Temple to Mars is probably waste, but uh, with this money and monument construction possibilities. No, uh, some of them uh, did decide to be grumpy again for some reason. It was just for a while. Maybe it was still lingering while I was patrolling with that guy up there. I think that might have caused it before. Okay, yeah, we have some medium insulae now. And bigger insulae, uh, we'll need fish.
get on the temple down. It's gonna be the obvious blessing. Build a Venus. Do we want to build her here? I think that's still enough space. Oh yeah, I need an arena as well for these people. Can we get it easily? Not easily. But maybe it could be done here. I need to replace series. This thing. Series is gonna be really good as well, so let's just keep her here. And actually take the forum, put it here. Build an arena. Equestrian statue or two in the corner. Line house. Can make a connection through here. So you'll need to placate that anyway. But we will need a prefect. Okay, need to get on with the patricians, I think. So the, the reservoir now. It can cover them all from here. Actually, it, it can even be more to the side. nice and symmetrical with the other aqueduct. It's gonna have range for like regular uh, fountains now, which is pretty good. We need a lot of things over here. to the Mercury into the Mercury Gulag Misclicked, sort of for that. Warehouses. It's gonna take no, 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 that wouldn't be very good. Have it like this and then keep two by two buildings here. That would actually work. Make sure we have enough prefects. I actually can roadblock it. There's no need for the extra prefect. Because the warehouses don't need placating. Just my brain don't, doesn't work very well today. Oh, let's get some vine. That could 
Joker shall be a 3x3 here. Amphitheater is fine. Bathhouse instead of series. Markets. This side. Assume highway connection. We are using up a lot of our marble currently, but that should be fine. So yeah, let them have all the things. Food. Get wheat. Get vegetables. Get fish. Vegetable farms. Farmland isn't like insanely plentiful. It's gonna be a little rough to design. Yeah. Mm. Functioning farming area. Maximize the coverage. It's gonna cut into the fishing spots. I think that's just enough vegetables in general. We won't need much more than this. Even if we decide to give a little bit of it to the plebs. And it's a desert, so let's just make another prefect. Because having things explode would not be good. And we have some grand slide here. Uh, we could have more. Especially if I carefully remove some of the statues. Replace them with two by two statues. Help. Furniture. How are you doing on furniture? I think it's generally fine. The unemployment is not fine. Let's get these guys a library and an academy. Where is the attack? It's here. Is it proper attack? Numidians. We probably won't need uh, all of our units. But after playing the maps we usually play, I'm not taking any chances. I know suddenly Lizaron might have added a bigger attack. Let's 
so it looks like we are still lacking the third type of food a little bit. I will give them a little bit of vegetables, I think. We haven't sent him a gift in a while. Yeah, never actually. <laughs> Just send him a gift. Amphitheater is there. Library, academy, school, hospital. Speed up food fetching with highways. Yes, we could do that. I need to constantly remind myself. Uh, a. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer, and second, use highways because of reasons. Still find it quite counterintuitive, but the speed boost is quite big, so I just need to keep in mind it really is good. Okay, the engineer is just the worst engineer in the world, he never comes here. Why giving people choices is bad. So, furniture. Yeah, I think we are lacking it a little bit still. Also, I never tweaked this. Capacity. Add more. It's gonna be a mess of a road. Let's collect. Yeah, I think we will roadblock that. the wheat. I think the wheat is fine. It's the fish that's uh, could be better. I think we'll do another accepting granary for fish around here. And it's not like we are struggling on labor. It's actually pretty bad. I'm gonna just add it here. I think I'll need to roadblock this off. It's already quite bad. Okay, let's just add another engineer. Another engineer here. Maybe on the line there. This should work. Look at two by two spot for plaza. Oh no. I guess it's I mean I give you that. It looks it looks like uh, it's better than having the dirt squiggles. But from the nature of it, it's just hideous, right? It makes the walkers just mill about forever. I hate it, but it's less brain cancer than watching the uh, dirt squiggles. Additional decorations, so that should help out. Mm. 
Maybe. I need a new trade route to be able to buy two kinds of wine. Oh, I messed up. I need to make my own wine to just having uh, vines. Okay. Uh, that's not very good. I can trick them though. I can just have a vine workshop. Here and import like one vines. And yeah, we are making two two kinds. Yes. <laughs> Marvelous. Oh no. Yeah. Things. I totally forgot because the other place was so bad. <laughs> I had to do the squiggles. Just hope it doesn't explode. He wants so much oil. I'm gonna give him that oil. Gonna be nice governor. Give him all the things. taxing these people? I don't think we are. Well, that's a must. And Coliseum is done. There we go. Now the oil is a little bit of a concern. I think I will oh, actually. The vegetables don't seem too plentiful here. Might be because I'm trying to feed it to these these guys as well. This is a granary for fish, right? Okay. I was thinking we could do a warehouse and then accept a little bit of oil. And switch out one of these farms for an olive farm. Build a series grunge temple. Because I think we've done, yeah, all of them are done. So none of the other things are being made. Hopefully stabilize soon. This is not looking good. Now it's getting better again. Eight furniture. You can have it. Temple needs a road. Oh yeah, it's the highway. I'm just so confused <laughs> still by the highways. <laughs> Don't hold it against me. Yeah, it does only have a highway. I'm gonna have to start thinking like a highway person. I'm unsure. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I know. Caesar wants his wine. I just sent him a hundred, though. So we should really. Should fuck up. Uh, 122,000. Money is never gonna be a problem, I don't think. The population will be, though. Let's take a look at the advisor. Can still fit a bunch. Oh, no. I, I, I noticed something. We'll need some oracles. <laughs> yeah. Pa. Where do we build the oracles? Here. I could build them up there, but it's like risky area. I don't like it much. Wouldn't be safe to build them around here. But here, 
It's not a terrible place, I don't think. It needs a road connection. Patricians there aren't miracles, clearly. I'll have to build another blood block. But with that water coverage from the Neptune Temple, we should be fine to build it like this, I think. Already doing two hours on the map so far. Yeah, I think we are crushing it. But I think this, ha this has been our experience on most Lizard maps. Uh, I played like three of them in total, I think. But I don't think any of them were uh, really challenging to me. Mm, let's actually build them up on the other side. We'll need, I actually need to make sure I have two prefects. Yeah, Baron, you've played it, I think. I think you did. It has three native meeting huts, so money is trivial right off the bat. I believe you built a patrician block here and got attacked by natives from here because you got overconfident from the attacks being so small. And then there was one that uh, came from there. But that was like mm, self-inflicted mutilation. It was not like the map isn't too tough here. Because <laughs> you didn't even need to build a patrician there. It's just, yeah, I, I can, therefore I will. <laughs> It's an executive decision. You will go into the desert and build me a palace block. Well, guess what? Natives do not approve. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. I think after that, you also build up a lot of towers and watchtowers there. The palace is there because it looked cool. Yes, for sure. I still disapprove of it. <laughs> cool is efficiency. Not building out there of all places. <laughs> but whatever. Floats your boat. Which you have floated many a boat in your governor lifetime. <laughs> uh, so have I. I think that's a natural progression. Very good governor. For some reason I built Mount the best in some days to die, yeah. <laughs> they look cool. I mean, they are horrible, horrible cringe, but. Again, if you think it's cool, go for it. Mm. Could we make it more efficient if I hack that? There are two ways you can build farms, and I'm not sure which one is going to be the best for this. I think regardless of how we build it, you're going to always end up with two farms. Most likely. It's not even worth it to do that. But it does not really matter. Uh, food is not gonna be a huge problem here, I don't think. Just get some of it. Mm. 
byl to samozřejmě terminus, jak šlo, because otherwise the architect, mar, uh, the engineer might neglect a part of it. Horribly distorted. Okay. Need three of them, but it's gonna reach the other side as well, which is pretty good. Just for you, Baron, we are gonna do some gladiator statues. Oh, the gladiator. Evolutionary statues. Because they are a myth. N nobody in my city ever saw one. <laughs> it's actually a lie. I think I did uh, go with legionary some couple of maps before. But it's a long and distant history. Local uprising. It's MX M among star troops. Well, let's just position them here. Yes. The arc. Done. Need to wait for them to actually fetch the grain now. Which they might be going here of all places. Because it's closer uh, as crow flies. It's gonna be horribly inefficient. Connect everything up, but we could uh, connect that. Not sure which way they are going, even. Did I set up to get incorrect life? No. So bad at life. Get the food. Okay, let's give them a theater and a school. I think the market ladies might be going f to fetch things through the highway though. It's really bad. I think I will have to interrupt it. Otherwise they will start getting things they are not supposed to get. Uh, <clears throat> we will have to give them their own things. Mm, do we make them grand insulate? I think just medium insulate most likely. It's gonna be fine.
Even small display would have been fine, but <clears throat> you'll see. Does he want oil and weapons? Slurry weapons. Bathhouse. Food is still not looking great. Which I kind of expected. Uh, it would not be enough. So he's gonna start getting it as well. This one as well. That's it. Where is the fire? Oh yeah, I don't have tanks. Just built it blindly. It's pretty bad. Might be a gladiator uprising at some point, but it's fine. Okay, small and slow. Medium and slow. Oil is not a big deal. It's here. Might need extra oracles. Yeah, Mercury is upset. Because we didn't give him a Grand Temple. Did we build a series one? Not yet, let's keep building that. Oh, they probably don't have access to it actually. For some reason. No, they should have it. Oh, it needs to access to this road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it now. It's fine, the highways are still difficult to wrap my head around it. What about the uh, furniture amounts? There is some over there. Oil is not looking too plentiful. It's because we sent some of it away. New Emperor, favor is 50, it's great. Send him a gift. So, uh, what about the housing advisor? 11,700 people in the city in total. Houses. This side as well. Weapons we are capped actually. Might need to enable up to 24. So, what are the housing advisor now? Still need more. It's gonna be one more block. It's gonna be a small one, I think.
And then we'll need to do some culture spamming. I could have planning. Should need to cut off that corner entirely. have huge unemployment. Uh, I guess it's as good as of time as any to start doing some culture spam. I mean, I don't like it. I really don't like it. This culture rating is bad, but what can I do? It's on the map, it's a criteria, so we have to fill it. There's no way around it. But this is the reason why I don't actually have culture rating most of my maps. Because it's so bad. People hate it. Uh, oh no. I made a mistake. Explosions are gonna happen, most likely. Culture and oracles with Augustus are bad. Mm, uh, oracles are fine. Why are uh, oracles bad, in your opinion? It unlocks mausoleums, which are also pretty useful. It's just I never built them really. <clears throat> but uh, you really should. Not spammable. They are, uh, depending on the map in question. If you have marble or not, but that was the same in Julius. Oracles for culture item. Well, it's gods. Uh, it doesn't give you culture for oracles, it gives you culture for gods being happy. So I could do it with any temples. Like Grand Temples especially, and since we are building two of them, it's gonna make gods happy because we do have a bunch of stuff for them. One thing I haven't checked in like ages is actually my pottery supply, and I think we might be drying it up gradually. Hmm. There's still some left.
but we'll make more. These warehouses are not really necessary anymore. I need employment anyway, so let's get three. Time to give them water, I guess. Almost. Was that an attack? No, that was a request. Right. Send in the oil. Oh yeah, they need a guard. Bathhouse. So peace is gonna be last thing, which is usually on lizard maps we are having the timers are last. Especially if it's at a hundred, which it is. Favor is fine. Oh. Population, uh, the unemployment is not really fine, but whatever. Reduces consumption. <coughs> Let's get that, even though Mercury doesn't really cover most of our blocks. So it's to pop like. We are well over the limit with this. Culture decreased again. Favor ninety one. Set him a gift. No, it's late. Hmm, some devolutions, I don't like to see that. I guess the wheat has dried up a lot, but... Is it here? Yeah. They might be fetching it from here, that would actually be beneficial. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. What are the fish? Isn't accepting. The series temple is gonna help with the consumption reduction. So now it should even itself out. Average force 24 months. Are there any attacks? No. Average force means 4, 5 to be sure. It's like half of our army. It's no matter. Send them a gift.
should help out soon enough. Some rioters. It's not really working out too well. Put out the fish amount then. Doesn't look too good. Could make more wheat in here. This map has uh, a lot more food than you would need. It's just I'm lazy to utilize it, or it's on the other side of the map, which I haven't expanded into intentionally, so I don't have to deal with it militarily. Oh, right. Just get rid of one of them. Another Garanari. This one's gonna get fish. This tent is causing so many issues. Just need to wait for some food. Okay, yeah, and prefects getting swarmed by the <laughs> protesters are causing some fires. Yeah. I know. <laughs> it's not good. It's just the food instability is just causing some insane problems there. I think it was temples. Cities, Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Venus Blessing might help. Also, the food should really be getting better with all that. But on having that unemployment is actually horrible. So yeah, uh, it would help to not have that. a couple at least, but we are never gonna be able to deal with all of it. The city's temple should really help. I guess they are still kind of pissed at me. These guys still want more kinds of food. Yeah, that like I cannot really get that. Peace and favor. Which means just waiting. Triumph. Need Senate to soak up unemployment, yeah. So we didn't have to use the other bank at all. Which is something I was counting on. Local uprising. And it's here. <laughs> They can chill. Mars is gonna continuously poke them in the face. Imagine if there was a bridge and I forgot about it. <laughs> It'd be so much pain. Okay.
<laughs> there you go, success. I mean, I expected the map to be a little harder, to be honest. We had all hundreds ratings as well. Uh, yeah, like militarily and economically the mission is a joke. And terrain wise, the terrain the map itself is very flat and has more food than you would ever need. Even though the pop goal is slightly higher than you would need. It's a pretty easy map, yeah. I think it's uh, on par with the campaign maps for the most part. Just a little bit of a shame because uh, the custom maps allow you to do so many things. That's why I did very fanciful things. But that's limiting yourself. I will do things that are irregular, but only when I have to. I'm never gonna go out of my way to cripple myself intentionally. <laughs> That's not fun. Uh, if the map allows it, it's how it's supposed to be played. Asked Todd Howard. He'll explain it to you. It's making something weird work. <laughs> mm. I mean, for me, it's limiting. It's just, I know I could build something much more efficient, but I don't because of reasons. And not very good reasons. But anyways, uh, let's resolve the prediction. Choose an outcome. Yes, we did it. beat it on the first attempt. And let's take a look if we can raid someone. Kaladin is playing Victoria. We always raid into Kaladin. Uh, but let's do it. So anyways, cheers and thanks for watching. Yeah, Kaladin is playing some Victoria. He's playing Japan. <laughs>